we decided that the best thing to do at this time was to transport him by ambulance down to Children's Health Care of Atlanta. It was life-threatening, like his life could have been over. It's heartbreaking to see him suffer so much. I just wanted to end my life so I could end it. Through my struggle with eczema, I didn't let it stop me from what I loved doing. Just as eczema never defined me when it was at its worst, it doesn't define me now. I'm still the person I've always been, one who would not quit, ready to take on the next challenge. My name is Jeremy Paredes, and I am an eczema warrior. As a baby, I was born with a severe skin condition called eczema. For as long as I can remember, my body has been covered with red rashes, scabs, and dry skin. As an infant, he would scratch and scratch and scratch, and he had big, angry, red, scratchy, bumpy patches on his elbows, behind his knees, on his neck. Kids would ask if my eczema was skin cancer or if it was contagious, and kids would generally try to stay away from me and not touch me because I didn't look like the rest of them. When he first started doing a swim team with me and another one of our really close friends, Jax, Jeremy's skin flared up really bad to the chlorine in the pool, and so he put himself through the torture of all year because he did it for us. He did it to have fun with us. In the middle of my junior year of high school, I hit the lowest of lows. My skin was in an endless cycle of itching, scratching, bleeding, and pain. It got so bad, his skin was so inflamed that it finally kept him from doing the things that he loved. I wasn't able to go to school, focus on studying, or play soccer because my skin was so debilitating and hurt so much. He looked like he couldn't take it anymore, uh, and he started breaking down. Uh, he, was, he was obviously very visibly exhausted by all of it. He was in a lot of pain. He obviously hadn't slept, and, uh, and it, was, it was awful. It was very painful to watch, and there was nothing you could really do to help. For me as a mom, to see him struggling and suffering so much and just not finding anything that would give him relief, it's heartbreaking to see him suffer so much. The pain from my skin and the agony and the misery that I felt was such an overwhelming factor in my well-being mentally and physically. My suffering was so severe that I just wanted to end my life so I could end it. Yeah, this is hard to talk about, bro. Thursday, February 13th, 2020, was the day I was rushed to the ER in an ambulance. The week before Thursday, I remember I was stuck at home on the couch. I was barely moving because my skin hurt so bad. I could barely even talk because all the skin around my mouth was just cracked and dry. My mom was very worried about my well-being because my skin was becoming green and colorless. When he told me that he wasn't able to move his neck and that he wasn't able to move his legs, um, it really scared me. So I called his pediatrician and they took him in right away. His whole body was red. His joints were swollen. He was severely, severely affected um, by what he was going through. We decided that the best thing to do at this time was to transport him by ambulance down to Children's Health Care of Atlanta. I remember I was on my way to soccer practice when Ms. Paredes texted me and she said, Jeremy's um, in the ambulance right now. We're going to the hospital down in Sandy Springs. Like my heart kind of sunk, like my stomach sunk. It was like a feeling that like is very distinct in my head because it was life-threatening, like his life could have been over. At the time, I didn't know how dire my situation was. My eczema was very severe, but I didn't know that it actually put my body into septic shock. And I was later informed that if I wasn't brought into the ER that night, I would have died. The number one thing that kept me motivated and pushing to get better was the community around me. We love you, Jeremy. We love you, Jeremy. We're praying for you, buddy. Get well soon, Jeremy. We love you, Jeremy. We missed you a lot, so we hope for a speedy recovery. We love you, Jeremy. From the incredible nurses to my family who was with me 24-7, 
It was amazing to see everyone come together and support me and give me hope that there is going to be a better time that's coming. After he got back from the hospital, it was almost like a new Jeremy. Like, I'm back and I'm healthy and I'm going to do things better than I ever have before. I had never seen someone that was so positive. Jeremy was able to battle back. I'm currently in the middle of my senior year of high school and my journey with eczema still continues. However, the worst is now behind me. I have recently been taking a newly approved drug, which has been a game changer. I'm now playing soccer with my club team. I'm back to producing and creating videos every week, filming the football games, and I'm back in school hanging out with my friends. I want to share my story because I'm here to say that with the help of my friends, my family, my whole support system, there's always going to be a way to get over any obstacle that you face.